Hey, 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 welcome, welcome back to another day. Life care. So today, boy, this thing here, we're gonna try to get all the pulleys on, get the AC compressor in, alternator, power stem pump, connect all these wires back, connect all these connectors, get the radiator support in. We'll try to get it today so we can crank it. Then that on the we put the bump in, the headlights, the uh, fender wells, put the tires back on. But what I want to do is get it to a point where I can crank it. Put everything on, crank it. I want to let it run for at least an hour or two. Then turn it off overnight. I want to make sure ain't no coolant leaks, ain't no oil leaks. So them two main things I want to make sure. Um, put all this back together or I would definitely want to make sure that this thing this seal here this crankshaft seal don't come out and it's not leaking I definitely want to make sure that um let me sit that there I don't want that to get no Let's see this right here. But definitely want to make sure this seal is not leaking. And so, so I put the oil pan on. We try to get all that button up today. If it ain't leaking, then I go ahead and throw the bump on. Well, I know what I do, what I'm still gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put these headlights back in. The, um, try to put, I'll probably put the wheels on. Cause see, when I started doing this, I ain't know what you had to take off or not. I just started with, take the wheels off and go from there. I had to get in that wind, uh, fender wheel. So, try, versus fighting the tire, let's take it off. So, we're gonna try to get that done. <clears throat> so, this is crank pull the harmonic, harmonic balance. So. new one because the other one was all rusty looking. It might have looked bad. Probably wasn't bad, but it looked bad. Let's look at the other one. I think I threw them away. But this one look a whole lot better. Make sure this thing line up on here. Let's see. 
Where my sock is at? Let me stand back together and get this project over with. So, one, two, three. I'm about to get all these pulleys put back on here. Let's see. One, two, three. I'm about to get these pulleys put back on here. And then, um, I need to go ahead and connect all these connectors too. Yeah. Um, and all these connectors up here, so. Let's go back. But what I did was uh, I made videos and I was taking them apart. So I know exactly how this thing go on. But uh, I'm looking at these videos. You're going to see me pick up my phone time time. I got videos. They show me how all this stuff go back. So, so you pick up my phone. That's what I'm doing.
I'm trying to figure out how these screws went back in here. Trying to figure it out. They took this one out of here. I don't think they're going now. These two the same side. Yeah. I know one go here, one go here. This ain't no hole right here. That's something else there. And I think that go like that. That's so uh, the tension to go here. We'll go there. I'm trying to figure it out. Figure it out. I know a pulley probably go here, a pulley go down. I got what, three of them? Uh oh, I'm missing one. Okay. So I know one go here, a smooth go there, two rough go here. Where does this go? Oh, you're not supposed to have no extra screws. I can put something back together. You got a problem. Oh, Let's see. I don't want to tighten it up. I don't know how everything go for sure. So I'm just gonna put everything on the halfway. So I kind of mock it up. Exactly how it go. I know that go through there. There's a hole here. And I had this. There ain't a hole back there for that. But this guy is here. Okay, I got that. Say this screw here and here. Let me take this out. I know where that go. All right, that go right there. And now them two go. I figure out where this go. Cause I had this stuck. Here, I mean, I'll hold back that off. There it goes somewhere. I don't know where the. I don't go there. Let's pass stern pump. I don't know, give me a minute, I gotta figure this thing out.
So we got the alternator on there. I'm about to put the rest of these pulleys on. Let's power the stern pump on. Then we come over here to this AC compressor. This one is this one. I'm gonna take these little clamps out. Probably should replace these little rusty things. See you, see. I may grab surely, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. this one because it's all swole at the end so I might have to cut it get it cut it let's see here I don't think these will cut through this thing nah Take it off on his other hand. this thing go. Let's see. Do it come like this and go up. I'm gonna just clip them on there for now. tape on the mark so I know which line go away. Yeah, you ain't gonna put them on their backwards. I'm thinking. Uh let me slide it on there. I'll figure out how it go.
I probably don't have this thing back together Tuesday. I'm bitching this door like this. It's that long one. Yeah. So, get this off. So really all I got to do is free yarn, put the AC compressor on, put free yarn in it, and then uh, and then put this belt on, put the, these two water hoses on, and then go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put that front on, I need JB Willie. Put that front on. We should be good to go. I'm guessing this go like this. So we're gonna figure it out. I ain't gonna lock them on there, y'all. Let's push them on there. I'm thinking this probably go something like that right there. So, but take a break, clean up some of this trash. All right, as you can see, we got alternator on, power steering pump on, tension to put it, out of put it, out of put it, out of put it. I guess this harmonic balancer. Crank, pulley, whatever you want to call it. Got all that on. Pretty much had everything else connected. Now I'm about to go and put this uh, AC compressor in here. Then we'll kind of go from there. So we're about to cut this new compressor up out of here. see here this current process is three it's pre-charged with three ounces of oil must say recommended amount and type scan QR code for application specific oil type and charge all right so we're gonna scan this QR code here oh. and check this thing out so this thing said add pack or here. We had a the strip go across. So I'm gonna take this off and see if I can see it inside. But I ain't trying to have to pull this thing back off. I ain't trying to have to deal with it. This thing not cooler. I need something to hold this thing when I turn. Kind of tight, eh? Because I was going to put it in through the high side. But they say add here. I mean, let's see. There's no way else on here. Let's, let's see here. Something leaking out of there. Now it's under pressure. So it's like add it there. So dang. I got a um uh, huh. that little hole man. 
So I got a little funnel. Should have one of them little cone funnels that I could uh, use. Let me go get this oil. I already got it. I put it in a measuring cup. Measuring cup here. It only had four. Then it had a line for six. Then it said eight. It had a line for 12. Then it said 14. So I put it in between. Almost at the line. Right under the line for six. But just looking at that. Yeah, that's an inside. So. I just want to make sure I get it in here and don't waste it. Put this back on. Cause I sure ain't put that in my truck. So that might be why it ain't. It cool, but I think it can get colder. I just put straight free on. <laughs> so, I might have to redo that thing. But, uh, let me go get this, uh, this measuring cup, see if I can pull this stuff in here. So we can get this stuff in here without wasting it. I need a funnel though. I gotta take my time to put it real slow. Oh, 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 oh. You wasting. I have to kind of pull it real slow to get it to go in. That's what it is. Hey, if this thing working it cool, I know I'm going to take that one off my truck. I'm going to go and buy a new one. Because that show ain't had no oil like this in there. I don't even think I read that label. This thing it said how much free on or something. But after I put this on, I can put that belt back on. Start putting all the intakes back in there. And uh Trying to get to, so all I gotta do tomorrow is put oil and cooling in here. I might need JB wear that front. I might slap that thing on there. Give me some ratchet straps and tie it down where I can put the JB wear and let it hard. I need to put the lights and fender wells and stuff back in. Coolant reservoir, not the cool, yeah, the coolant reservoir. The uh, washer fluid reservoir. I got a lot to still do. I hate to say it, boy, it might be Wednesday. Gotta get him cut grass in the morning. That's what, tomorrow with Labor Day? Oh yeah, like I said, if this thing work good, it's ice cold, then I already know what's wrong with mine. On the back, AC in my truck. They get cold in the front. It gets colder than the front, so. We almost there. It might be a little shy, say 5.10 ounces. It might be five ounces. I don't think that's gonna kill it. Let me go 
There's a little bit there. Alright. Go bleach that out. Should I put the screw back in here? Now I think I need to put these lines on before I screw this thing in. Cause I don't think. Let's see. These two. Yeah, just the top. So see, you got a line go here, but then you got this other line that go here. I need to take the old one back, get my money back, get my core charge. So let's tighten that back up. Make sure that ain't gonna be leaking. Yeah. Get these lines out the way. Cause these are two connectors. I gotta look at this other one because I know it's something I got to screw off of that. Them other ones, they, they go on here. I know it's like a bracket or something that holds this wire here and this one for this one. So, because I know that thing go, I'm guessing it goes like this. See, I got one line right here. So this line goes like this. That's how that one go. So I need to connect these lines before I put this thing in here. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space. And so they gave me some uh they gave me some new O-rings. So it's the uh this the low side. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that O-ring right there. And then this one back up in here. I gotta replace that big O-ring. I can put this on, put this belt on, and that might be it for the night. The mar put that radiator support in. It's probably gonna be Wednesday. So tomorrow I put that radiator support in, put oil in here, cooling in here. Then I just want to crank it up, let it run, let it get hot. Uh, start charging them. I ain't going to charge the AC. I ain't going to charge that thing until I'm going to check this out first. Make sure oil, cooling good. It ain't leaking no oil or no coolant. Then I charge the AC. Check that out. Then I can shut it off tomorrow. Let it sit overnight. Come out here. Make sure I ain't got no oil leaks from nowhere or no coolant leaks. And then kind of go from there. Alright, so. I'm going to take this bracket off. So I can secure how they go. So this one come from the back. So I'll make sure I route them the same way. So this has to go something like this. And then this one here points like that. So let me get this bracket off right here. I gotta take this one off. Let's see if we got a socket fit this little thing. That should do it. Oh boy, the grind don't stop. The grind don't stop. Tell you boy, it's always something. It's always something. Got too many projects. It's only me. One of me.
take all this off. They just put that on there. This is why I won't be slapping around. But once I do, let's see, put this on there. Let's get this off right here. But I gotta take this back, get my co charge. All they do is this a refurbished one. Ain't no brand new. This is refurbished, so. I don't know, I'm guessing they take it apart, put new guts in the inside. But uh, let's see if I can get this thing here off. I see the other one they had gave me. Somebody had tried to put it on. You can see. Connectors had rust in them, dirt. Then they had the little clips, these were broke. So you ain't had nowhere to secure those. They was like, well, you know, we don't, they don't change the wires when they refurbish them. I'm like, well, I need another. I don't want that one. Because, hey, you can't afford for this to get right here. And this wheel turning and it cut it in half or something like that. You can't afford for that. So, let's see. I can get these off of here. See, that's what it was. This part was broke. So somebody was trying to get it off. I need a little flat here. I'm sure they flat here for that one too. Probably so. Yeah, I'm gonna need a flat here to get in there. Why this one got this on there? You have to look at these things, make sure they're the same too. Everything line up exactly right. Because I don't know why this have this on the end. This got to come out. I'm gonna take that off. But let me get a flathead. See if I can get this off. Fight me, fight me. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. I got one. So light gray. Go on this side. Which one? Let's go like that. What's a little tail? I don't know. I gotta see if I get this side off. Let me see. Make sure I got these things turned the right way so I know how to put this back on here. Sit that like that. So this go on there like that. So the gray faces this way. And that gray is the one from the back. So I need to put this like this. And then this one goes like that. All right. Let's see if we get this thing here off. Boy, this thing here gonna be a pain in the butt. Thing breaking. I don't need you to break, man. 
they're coming out. The stern show coming out. So I don't need the brake. Shapeless. Okay, so the black came off of this one. Stand up, let's see. That came off there. Yeah, so let's go like that. That's the front one. We gotta make sure we put these things on the right way. So they uh, line up with these connectors over here. So this one go like this. I need to flatten that out. Right. We get it straight right here. Straight the red on out. Right. So the black, I go like this. All right, so the black go here. Now I need you to go straight on that thing. I'm gonna give you a hard time. I'm gonna have to get this flat. It's all looped and wild. That look pretty straight. Put the black gone like this. I need to put some lubricant in this thing so it'll slide on there. Mm. I need to go just a little bit more. So I gotta kind of tap on it a little bit. Thing got a would that fit? Nope, I gotta take this off. Let's see. I'll tell you why they get the AC compressor on. Oh, okay. All right, this thing since early, early this morning. I bet you some holding this little tab. I don't want to mess up this connector because I need it to slide on now. Oh boy. I can get this out, boy. I need a nose pliers at. Oh, uh, it sounds like it's raining outside. I might not be cutting no bread tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up with, with intentions though. We're gonna find out. Alright. Let's see this thing go. That, I like this. I go like this. That went like that. And 
Let's go like this. this here. Let me make sure this wire, I would like it to go around here. So that's pulling on it too much. Yeah, it's pulling on too much. That's how we're going. So the gray go right there and the black go there. Right, let's put this, I ain't putting that Phillips screw back in here. I'm putting this hex screw back in here. Cause that way, that Phillips you can strip the head off that bad boy, then you struggling to get it off. So we're gonna put this hex back on there. Come on, boy. Put this on this. So make it a whole lot easier. I'm tired, boy. I've been dealing with this thing here pretty much all day long. Oh, I see you. I dropped the new one. That shouldn't hurt it though. How'd it go? Like this. Let me get this thing bolted down. The last thing I want to do is put this center gun on and it ain't engaging. Damn. I did that. Son of a gun. Hopefully that don't that don't cause no damage. It shouldn't. Clip right here. And I'm gonna tell you, I know it's gonna be a pain to come out. But you know what? I ain't using that one. I'm gonna use this. See this, this other little screw right here? Let's fill it. See that screw in there? That's what I'm gonna use. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm about to use. I ain't about to be fighting with these things all day. I need to secure them. That screw. I'm actually gonna put it just like that there. So let's see here.
don't know. Great. Yeah. Gotta hold that down. Don't have to worry about that coming off. So we got the AC compressor on. They got these little things here. But I ain't got no two to screw these in. Then you're supposed to put the nuts on top. I'm gonna take the nuts off and keep them though. But, cause see, do what you're supposed to do. Uh, you're supposed to screw these in now and then put that on top. But, them screws that hold the little gases in there, they work just fine to me. So. I have forgot to take this little thing off to hold the wire connector, but I did. So, now I'm about to see how to wrap this belt. You can hear that rain out there. I'm gonna see how to wrap this belt. I wanna say this belt kind of memory. I know it come across here, here. I wanna say come around here, over the, I want to say under here. Let's see. They go under here. You can't go over that one. I know that come across here. They go here. So they come off of this. Let's smooth here. Uh, I'm about to get this built. Take it off, open it. I figured it out. All right, let's play with this thing right quick. I've measured it, so it fits. Let's see. Let's start right there. Because I know it's got to go around the bottom of that. You can't go over the top. I know it got to go around the bottom. So. Don't be good like this. I wanna say go through here. I know it go over this, this smooth. So I need to go. If I go around this. I gotta feed through that. Right 
it's a smooth pudding. So it's a smooth pudding, a smooth side of the belt. I'm a smooth side of the pudding. So I know this go like this and like that. I know that much. So, then I'm gonna come off of there. You gotta drop down around that. I want to say go around the AC like that. Right here. Like that. Sounds like this side. They come over there. They come through here. That's right. No, that ain't right. It's come across. And look, that ain't right. I know it comes across here. I hate this. Come all the way over here. So. I gotta take the thing right now. <laughs> Lay it down flat. So I know it come around us, across the top, across the top, down that. You gotta go over that. I know one, two, and three, right? No fact for sure. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this one. It'll come up here. A little smooth like this. I'm going to this go like this. That go like that. And this one, this one. Come up here. Come up up here. Or do I got this in the wrong spot? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, give me a minute. Yeah, 
Okay, that's that. That's in, that's in. That's gonna lose, that's smooth, that's online. And voila. Phew, boy. Let's see here. So I guess in this thing gonna spring that way. So I need to take this. Make sure I get this thing all right. I ain't doing it tonight though. Let's see. I see two grooves on top of this harmonic balance. I ain't know what that means. I need to look that up on the net. See what that means. Cause they mark these for a reason. It could be the weight. Where the weight need to be. But nah, it really don't matter. Cause it's got a Woodrow key. You can only go one way. So, it really don't matter. It might be the timer. But, that's where we at. So all we gotta do is put it. This front radiator right support in tomorrow. What is this? This is a power steering cooler. It comes with these power steering lines. We put this front radiator right support on tomorrow. Um, got hooked. Two cooler lines up. So up front lower radiator right holes. Hook them up. Put these two oil lines up down here. And then, we'll fill this thing up with coolant and oil. I'll let it run. We'll go ahead and, uh, well, after it's running, I don't see no leaks on the floor. I'll probably go ahead and uh, get the Freon, charge, start charging the AC up. So these are on top of each other like this. We're gonna charge the AC up. And then after I get that and that, that's good to go. I'll work on one side of the time with we'll the headlight fin away on that side, headlight fin away on that side, put the crash bar up here, slide that bump on, slide the wheels on, set it on the ground, and gonna drive. I just wanna get on the highway, drive, probably put 40, 50 miles on it. Make sure ain't nothing rattling. And then came loose, everything sound good, ain't leaking. And then we'll go from there. So, we made it to the end of the vlog. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn on our post notification, click that bell, that bell, let every time I post. I do a vlog of my life. You know? Some people have to go out and create content to have to vlog what I do on the regular. But, this just is uh, this right here, I'm gonna name this. This will be a series of tearing this motor down, putting it all back together. Might be information. Somebody might, maybe they ain't got the money to take it to the shop. They can do a little bit at home by themselves. But, uh, I already got a lot of some interesting vlogs coming up. They're gonna be automotive, be more real estate. It's coming up, so um, you definitely gonna see some real estate stuff. So that's gonna make some money. Um, a couple projects working on. One, you need a lot of work. One, about moving and ready. So, get them done. Then hopefully my goal will tell you what I'm after. About three things I'm after. I ain't really after nothing else. Three things I'm after. I'm after a Lamborghini. I'm after a house in Florida. And I'm after, just to start out what I want, here you go, hey, Lamborghini, I'm gonna start with a Huracan. 
I want an SVJ. I'm gonna start with a house in Florida. Well, I want to be on the water, but you gotta crawl before you walk. Start with a house in Florida. Camper. I want a Newell, but as if you don't know nothing about campus, look up Newell. N E W E L L. I don't want the old bike style, I want the new bike style. They buy the mid and them some chain. You get a brand new, it's about two. But, and preferably me, I prefer the camper for the Florida house. Reason being is, I like out west. It's peaceful. It's real peaceful. I like out west. I want to go travel. And the camper, the RV, it allows you to travel at your pace. Cause you know you see these people they they um they be at campgrounds and and you know staying overnight at harvest holes. See me, I'm a truck. So campgrounds. <laughs> I've been put into a truck stop. Made me a little spot out the way of the trailer. I go to the front. Two three days you want to spend in a little area, you know. Hey. Camp out, do what you need to do. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to camp. So that's gonna wrap the vlog for today. We out.